hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i it's monday um the first monday of the year 2021 and i have a few etsy orders so i'm just go ahead and pack them on camera um i'm gonna start by um just printing them out i have the um etsy sell on etsy app so i'm just gonna print out the invoices and then I'll go ahead and get started okay so I've printed out the Etsy orders I only have three I have one on Friday one on Saturday that I actually had to cancel that was in Finland and she only ordered seven dollars so I told her I was like oh I have to cancel it because the cost of the order doesn't cover the cost of the shipping because it was like thirteen dollars and she turned around and ordered $30 worth of, because I told her I recommend, you know, you order $15 of, of USD um, if you're going to order. And she turned around and ordered $30, so I'm really thankful for her. And then I had another lady order this morning, and it's 7, no, it's one seventeen. I went to bed at 7, a little after 7 in the morning. Um, I just went to the store, well, not to the store, but my supplier, I needed some more because they ordered a few aqua that I didn't have, and I have these bags I need to fill them with. So, um, I'll show y'all how I fill my bags. And <laughs> Thank you. 
shipping label on them and go to the post office. I use Pirate Ship. I don't have anything on my shirt. Um, I use Pirate Ship to ship my packages. It's pretty affordable. Um, it doesn't require any like fee or anything. So I recommend anyone that has a small business that is shipping like little by little, go ahead and use it. Even if you're shipping big orders. I know Angela Jasmina, she has like a whole, you know, blanks business and she uses Pirate Ship. So I recommend that. Um, it is still not Christmas time, but it's still New Year's. Um, so I'm sure they're still processing the packages from there. But I had one um, a couple days before Christmas, and it got there just fine. I didn't hear anything about it. The only package I am worried about is the one going to Finland because it is um, international. So I know that one is going to take some time, but I'm going to go ahead and mail it out right now. She ordered yesterday, so I'm getting it out today. One of my customers, she ordered Friday, but I don't ship on the weekends, so I'm shipping it out today. And another one, um, I think in New York, she ordered yes this morning, so I'm going to ship hers out as well. And for anyone asking um, or who might be wondering, this is my business. This is where my inventory is. Yeah, it's all in here. So like you just saw... I go to my manufacturer or wholesaler, um, whatever you have available to you. I have these two by three bags that I use my pear shaped ones in. Um, so when I go and buy them from wholesale, they come in a bag like this. So it may be folded, it may be like full. I think this one was folded, and it comes like pretty full. And I just count the designated amount. Um, for these pear shaped ones, I only put 100 in every single one of these. And it ends up being about that much right there. This is 100 of the pear shaped ones. And they're really good for um, if you want to use them on nails or whatever. In all my packages, I try to include like a free item. So, I just went to Dollar Tree. Um, I had a black one. So, I have black, pink, and green. I just about ran out of the black ones. I should have used another uh, black one instead of the pink one. But I just use these um, badge reels as a free gift. Like, thank you for purchasing. Um, blase, blase. And... I purchased my full size bags, put up the designated amount in here. For these stones, like these bulk stones, so these vary. Um, I guarantee there are gonna be a thousand in there, or really over a thousand, but I just eyeball it. So um I picked up my phone and just based on however much um the bag is, I wanna make at least that much money back. So, if I'm selling the product for $3.99, which these stones are $3.99, and this is the only $5.99 um, one, only because of the shaping of it, it's a little bit more exclusive. And I also include these as free gifts, too. So, um, these, I just eyeball it, and I put out 10 bags originally because I wanted to fill 10 bags, but I wasn't able to. I was only able to do eight but when I did the math, like, I came out even. Like, I broke even. So, that's pretty good. So, anyone wanting to know, that's how I do that. And I just get whatever colors I want. And I just post them on the Etsy. Um, I've had the same colors for a while now. Um, I used to have a bling box that did pretty well. I ended up selling out of that. And um, where I purchased my box from, they didn't have the same one anymore. So I have to find a new one before I come back with the bling box. But that went pretty well. And even if it doesn't sell well, I mean, I just keep it on Etsy. You never know. Um, a lot of people have been um, favoriting my shop. So I think that's why I got a lot of orders. Like I got three and they were for a pretty good amount. So, I mean, it's worth it to me. Just have it on there. It's only $20 a listing. So I don't see how you can go wrong with that. $20 is nothing have your product or if you don't have your product like um just buy as you go like i kind of do um i started out um 
with four hundred dollars that's how much i invested in all my stones um plus the cases where i did the bling box and i've um I haven't calculated, but I think I've broken even. But this is also money that I saved. So it's not like I took money from somewhere. I saved up in order to start this because I knew I wanted to start it. But yeah, just go ahead and go for it. So I'm going to use Pirate Ship and put the labels on this. Then I head to the post office and that's pretty much it. That's how I pack my Etsy orders. Um, I use these Bubble Millers. Uh, this was a 12-pack that I bought from Walmart. It was maybe $5, if that. Um, my stickers. These are simple 4 by 6 stickers from... I don't have a Dymo, but it's Dymo labels um, that I use. And with my label maker um, that prints my shipping labels... And I created this in Canva. I actually have two Etsy shops. So this is my other one. And this is my bling one. And it says thank you with the diamonds on there. But yeah, so you don't need to spend a whole lot of money on thank you cards. A whole lot of money on mailers. They're bubble mailers. They get their just as um, fine as the, chance, the fancy ones with your uh, logo and stuff all on them. Um, I use... Let me see if I have any more. I use these bags. I bought these originally to pack orders with, with. And then once I got some orders, I forgot I even had these. And I was just like packing them in the cellophane. Oh. These cellophane bags. So I put these... I put the orders... Um, in one of these just because i had some spills before so i thought it'd be better protected this is literally a party bag so if you go to the dollar store and go to like the party section where all the birthday stuff is one dollar and it's 30 of these and one of these goes in every little every package so the whole order can fit in this and i use these for my mask as well when i'm I make individual masks. I put each individual mask in one of those. And it's lasted me a long time. I bought three of them and they were a dollar a piece. So you don't need a whole bunch to start. You know, just go ahead and get out there. I actually have my logo right there. Branding. Yeah, and I have it on the back as well. well you can't really see it, but I do have it on the back as well. So yeah, that's about it. I just have my little bucket from Dollar Tree. I have all my rhinestones in there. I have my free gifts in there. I keep my stickers, shipping labels, um, mailers in my little workspace right here. And that's it. So that ends the video. That's how I pack my Etsy orders. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Or um, if you want to know how to make these, I can show you. It's just... Um, this one I made from scratch. This one is a template. So I can show you either way. But yeah, that's it. Peace. Till next time.